Sam Sheridan from Sheridan Computers. Today we've had a new Unify product turn up that we haven't used before. It's a five port switch. Um, nothing to get too excited about, but this switch is a little bit different in the fact that it's both uh, outdoor and indoor use. Um, if we take a quick look over at the website, this is the switch. The Unify Switch Flex, five port layer two gigabits, gigabit switch with PoE support. The Unify Switch Flex is managed layer two gigabit switch with auto sensing 8023AF PoE support. So the model is the uh, USW Flex, and this is it, as you can see um, from its design. It's for both indoor and outdoor use, which is what I wanted to get and have a look at it for. Um, so the US Flex supports maximum PoE output budget of 46 watts when powered by the 60 watt 802.3 BT PoE++. And the four ports offer auto sensing 802.3 AF PoE output to power multi multiple devices on the network. So you can power this from um, the um, industrial switch or from a 60 watt PoE injector. Um, if we take a look at the switch, it has one PoE++ input port and we've got the four PoE output ports. Um, so you say it is gigabit and it does say for use with indoor and outdoor. Um, and we've got various mounting options. It can be wall mounted, magnetic mounting, um, which is quite a good option. Uh, and pole mounting options as well. So as I say, it's got both indoor and outdoor design. The US Flex is designed for indoor or outdoor use with its weatherproof housing, versatile mounting options. The USW Flex provides both flexibility and durability for environments with, ex with extreme temperature variations. Uh, and it's shown here from basically from minus 40 to plus 55. Um, it's basically weatherproof to IP55 standards. And it shows the compatible product, the compatible um, products, from cameras to the mesh. Um, we've got the uh, USW Industrial in the back, um, and it's say it can also be powered from PLE injector. So we do have the switch here, which I'm gonna um, go and take a quick look at. It's still in the box, so we need to take it out. So as with everything, the uh, everything Unify comes in the nice uh, box. Let's see if we can uh, take this apart. Come on. Come on, drop, 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 drop. Um, okay, so in the box, we have the instruction manual, um, mounting bracket for a pole, and I'm guessing that's it, what's in here? Oh, and the uh, cable ties for the pole mountings. And there's some screen mountings as well. So there is no PoE ejector that um, comes with this initially. You have to purchase that separately. It's one thing to note if you're going to need to do this. Um, it can be powered by uh, normal PoE. I say, but if you're going to want the full 46 watt output, then you uh, need to get the correct PoE injector for it. So if we take a look, the we've got the identifications on the top, power light, uh, PoE, whether it's on or not, uh, and the lights across the top. So notice if we don't have the link lights on the ports here, there's not much point because you're not going to be able to see it when the cover's on. It'll be sat that way on your wall basically. So at least you'll be able to see it. And on the back we have the mounting options which can be changed. Um, the factory reset is on the back here. I'm not going to take this one apart, it doesn't seem too much point. It's um, a sealed unit, so I'm not going to play with it, but I did, you know, figure we'd do a video on it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and power it up. Oh, 
So I don't know if you can see we have green the uh, link activity light flashing. I can't get it. Let me move the camera a bit. Now that should be flashing white and appear to our controller shortly. Let's give it a couple of minutes and wait for that to happen. Okay, that's powered up. I know it's hard to see in this light, but trust me, it is powered up. And if we go over to our controller, so it's now here, Unify Switch. I'm going to go ahead and adopt that. So that's adopted, we've now gone to provisioning. So that's connected. Uh, it's the first time we haven't seen, first time never seen anything not update when I've um, first adopted it. Okay, so you can see we've got the MAC address, uh, the model, Unify Switch Flex 5 uh, POE, version, we've got this IP address, power source, voltage 46 volts, I've got this powered up off uh, a TP-Link switch at the moment. Uh, we can see the memory usage, the uplink information, downlinks, same as with uh, most Unify devices. The clients that will have nothing connected to it. Uh, so again, we have the ports, which port one is not PoE. If we go and have a look at this, um, again, that's the same as any other Unify switch, exactly the same. Um, we can go into each of the um, port settings, services, jumbo frames, SNMP. Um, network, DHCP or static, whichever you prefer. Manage device, again the same as other switches, force provisioning, forget device, and common settings. So I've got switch port. And under tools we have the debug terminal. So one thing that is worth noting on this switch that's a little different to other Unify switches. Um, as I say, we can see at the moment the power source is uh, 46 volts, it's powered from a, a TP-Link switch. Um, now in order to use a PoE injector with it, the uh, 60 watt one, which I'll leave a link to in the description, um, we have the power source settings, use device settings, 802.3 AF or PoE injector. Um, so enable the PoE injector, you need to click over and it will say please confirm that you use a valid 50 volt 60 watt or PoE adapter with a higher power rating. Um, I'm going to cancel that because I don't have one. Um, but if you do need to use a PoE injector with it then you're going to have to power it from um, a PoE switch first and then you'll be able to enable the PoE injector um, and as long as you've got a correctly rated one, so 50 volt, 60 watt, you'll be good to go. If you found this video useful, please go ahead, hit the like button. Um, consider subscribing to the channel. If you hit the notifications icon, you'll also get notifications of any new videos that we do. Um, I know this one was just a switch, but the switch was a little different with being an outdoor switch. So it seemed to fit perfectly for my needs um, and for what I I need with a client whereby I need to um, mount a switch outside and run some cameras from there which would make life a hell of a lot easier. So, so if you'd like to hire us head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk, uh, click on the hire us button, fill out the contact form, leave some details what you're looking for and we'll get back to you wherever we can help. Again, thank you.